we're extremely excited to add this unique long case sandstone clock to our visitor centre exhibition space. The story of the clock is still one that is very, very mysterious. It was actually under some tarpaulin and we did know it was there, but it was in pieces. Nobody's ever been able to find out very much about it. I had a, a very good idea that this clock was sculpted by the same person that did a lot of the, the fantastic masonry work at Abbotsford in the 1820s. We found a reference for a plan for a clock that was being taken up to Edinburgh. Why else is a mason involved unless it is our mystery clock? It's inconceivable that the clock was outside. That wouldn't have worked because movement does not respond well to, to changes in conditions. There's one of two locations it could have been. One is in the, the servants' quarters. And my other theory is that it was in the greenhouse, the garden room. So this was overlooking the, the fountain in the south court. It, if it is from this lost room, then that's just another kind of level to the experience. I'm always very, very keen to show people that Scott was witty. Rebuilding the stone clock is actually only the first part of this restoration process. We're currently working with a local clockmaker and seeking funds to restore a working movement to the clock. So hopefully it will be ticking again into next year.